Okay, so today's guide is going to be showing you how to set up Amiga OS 4.1 Final Edition very easily. And this is going to be using a very awesome piece of software called Flower Pot. Now, this is nothing to do with going to your garden and getting your garden gloves out and digging up some soil and planting some flowers. This is actually a software application which takes the stress out of running this and setting this up through WinUAE. So I'm going to be showing you everything in this setup guide including how to make this into a full screen mode like you can see just here. And I'm also going to be showing you one particular file that needs to be altered in order to install this to Windows PC. So check this one out. Okay, before I show you how to install Amiga 4 in the easiest possible way by using Flower Pot, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Just gets you little notifications every time I release a retro emulation setup guide like this one today and it also helps my channel a lot. So we're looking at installing Amiga OS 4.1. I've got the easiest solution for you and it costs 10 euros but it's not the end of the world and it's a lot easier than setting up OS 4.1 inside of WinUA. So to do this we're going to go over to AmiKit. Now AmiKit in itself is a modernised Amiga operating system pretty much and I covered this one about a year ago but we're not talking about that today. We're going to go to the Windows tab at the top and if we just scroll down you're going to come across flower pot and here is flower pot so as we can see just here this costs 9.95 euros and it's only going to be working as it seems for 64 bit computers uh, so we do need some extra parts for this which amikit deems as required seeds so of course we need 64 bit windows mac os uh, or linux to run this on we're also going to need a copy of amiga os 4.1 fe and we're also going to need a couple of files which you can actually get from Amiga Forever. So if you follow me for Commodore and Commodore Amiga content, you'll know that I've covered Amiga Forever in the past and so I've got access to these ROMs. So what we're gonna do is actually add this to cart and just go through purchasing this flower pot software. Okay, so once you've actually paid for this, you're gonna download a flowerpot.msi. This is executable, and this is what's gonna make installing Amiga OS 4.1 on your Windows computer super simple. So all we're gonna do with this then is just double left click, and it's gonna bring up a little flower pot setup wizard. So we're just gonna wait for this to initialize and then let's do some gardening together. Let's press install. Okay, I'm just gonna uncheck launch flower pot for now and go to finish. Now, what we need to do is take a look at ROMs. Now, like I was saying, the files that you need are mainly in Amiga Forever, but you also need the files from Amiga OS 4.1. So this is what I've dragged into my ROMs folder, which we're gonna add in a minute in order to install uh, Amiga OS 4. So I've mainly got my Amiga OS files, which you can actually find in the directory of Amiga Forever. And there's also files in here that we're going to need, such as the classic install CD just here. And we've also got a Cyberstorm PPC.rom. And I've also got Picasso IV.rom here. Okie doke. So what I'm going to actually do with these is just go into that directory of Flower Pot. So right click on it, open file location, and we're going to go into that ROMs folder. I've already got them placed inside of here, as you can see. Now, one thing I'm going to say to you, something that I took a little while understanding when I was setting this up last night, is if you do have the Cyberstorm PPC ROM, you need to make sure this one has actually got a size in it. Normally, this one's going to say something like zero kilobyte. If that's the case, it's not going to work. So in that case, you need Amiga Forever. Just open it up. And within Amiga Forever, you're going to find here Amiga 4000 PPC. If you open this up, that will then generate a new Cyberstorm PPC file for you. And just like mine just here, it's going to have a size to it rather than zero kilobyte. So what we're going to do next then is actually launch Flower Pot and install OS 4.
And just remember that we're using WinUAE just here. So in order to go to full screen mode, if that's what you want to do, just simply press F12 on your keyboard. And from here, we can go to display and settings. And I'm going to turn this one to full screen. And if I then go to OK, Okay, so first up, we're going to go to install Amiga OS 4.1. What we're going to do next is select a language. So we can use drop down just here, and I'm going to select uh, English British. And then I'm going to just go over to the country and select UK. And let's just go down to use. If you want to go to time zone, that's entirely up to you. Okay, so let's just press proceed. And from here we can set our keyboard so obviously depending where you are in the world i'm going to just select british here i'm going to just go to use and workbench will now open let's just press proceed Okay, so next thing we need to do is just double left click on the flower just here. Thank you for purchasing flower pot. And we're going to press enter on this. And we're going to go to next and just check how I've read and agreed to the license agreement. Next and next again. And leave this selected and everything else in fact from this point as default. So Amiga 4000 here and we're going to press next. And like I said, literally just pressing next. Okay, so we're now installed Amiga OS 4.1 Final Edition. Grab yourself a cup of coffee because this part takes quite some time. Around 10 minutes this took last night when I installed it for the first time. Okay, so we're going to press next again. And finally we're going to go to finish. Now what we need to do just here is we can either press control in F11 or you can go back into WinUA and close it from there. I'm going to press control in F11. So that's it. Once we've exit out of Amiga OS, let's just open up Flower Pot again and everything's now installed. So we're just going to literally press on launch to open up Amiga OS 4.1. And here we go then, so obviously we're using WinUA for this, so you're going to find your cursor is trapped in the window. Uh, obviously all you need to do to untrap it is just press ALT and TAB, and then you can just bring your cursor back out. So obviously if you want to go into a full screen mode with this, then you can go back into WinUA and turn this into full screen. Just remember to save your settings once you've done that. So what we're going to do here is just adjust the settings of the screen that Workbench is displayed on. That's the first thing I'm going to do. So, so what we need to do in order to play around with video settings, just go into the flower pot drive just here. And if we just expand this just a touch, what we're going to do next is go into preps. And from preps, we'll find screen modes just here. And there we go, screen mode. So we can then use whatever screen mode we want for this. So if I just put this onto the bottom option, UAE uh, 1920 by 1080. And if I test this first, and OK. And I'm actually going to use that. And 
and here we go then so just bear in mind that we're still in full window so what i'm going to do is just exit out of here by 12 and like i say if we go to display uh, from here we can actually change settings here to make this into a proper full screen so at the top i'm also going to put this to 1920 by 1080 and under rtg also going to put this to full screen and just save that configuration like i say and the save file we want to save it on is default just here uh, just go down to save so that's it so that's amiga os 4.1 setup complete with full screen as you can see there's lots to do and see in amiga os 4.1 so that's it for today's flower pot in how to install Amiga OS 4.1 onto Windows. So yes, it costs just under 10 euros, but it's going to take a lot of stress away from installing this yourself through WinUA. As we know, WinUA isn't the most user-friendly software out there. Uh, but anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. And join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.